we've looked at a variety of different tools that you can use to create your selections, let's now examine how to fine tune and refine your selections in order to get that extra bit of detail and extra bit of clarity with your selections. Now, Photoshop has introduced in CS5 refine edges. Now, refine edges is quite amazing and what it's actually capable of doing and you'll find it located under the options bar for most of the selection tools so for example if I go to the uh, marquee tool you'll notice just in the right hand corner here of the options bar you have refine edge now for this particular photograph you'll see that there is a lot of fine detail in this actual crane that's sitting on top of this building and it would take some time to actually go through and select all the different sections of the sky in order to isolate them uh, through the actual crane. So one of the things you can do is to start out with is to create a basic selection and in this case I'm going to use the magic wand tool so I'm just going to blow this up a little bit bigger. I'm going to grab the magic wand tool I'm going to leave it set to a tolerance of 32 and I'm going to basically select this guy and what you'll see is it's done a fairly good job of just sort of outlining the crane but hasn't filled in all of the individual areas uh, or individual details throughout the crane itself. Now ordinarily in the past you probably would have had to um, either use channels in order to create this uh, selection of this type of you know from this type of photograph or you could go through and fine-tune it by actually adding to it by holding down shift on your keyboard and just adding different sections and working your way through but with refine edge it makes it a lot easier so I'm just going to undo that last selection what I'm going to do now is click on refine edge and what will what you'll actually see is the refine edge window will appear now there are several different options here for you to utilize in fine-tuning your selections the first being the view mode now there are several different view modes for you to choose from the one that I tend to prefer is just the on white uh, view mode because that tends to show me um, it tends to give me a really nice strong contrast and make any darker areas in the image stand out which is really what I want and occasionally I might jump to the overlay which really does emphasize whether I've actually hit the mark with my selection but we'll stay on white for this example now you also have the show radius and show original uh, checkbox here um, they're going to basically uh, refine uh, show you the refined area as defined by the radius and also you can choose to show the original uh, selection so in most cases I leave these unchecked because I don't really need them at this stage now underneath view mode you have edge detection now edge detection is one of the primary things you're going to be utilizing in refine edge and what uh, it does an amazing job of actually uh, adding that additional bit of detail to your selection without having to do any work so essentially if I increase the radius of the edge detection it's now gonna uh, basically go out side the edges of my selection and it's gonna find additional areas in order to actually uh, in include in the selection so if I just undo that you can notice now that those areas that it found have disappeared again. So if I just increase that, you'll see all these little fine detailed areas here start to show themselves. But once again, if I set that back to zero, they end up actually um, disappearing again and they basically end up out of sight. So what I like to do is set this to around um, three pixels somewhere in that vicinity you can play around with it and increase it if you want as, as you can see there the more I increase it the more detail that it starts to pick up around these different areas and it's it actually you can see the feathering sort of effect that's occurring with the selection 
Now I'm not going to go that extreme. What I'm going to do is just jump it back to about three pixels again. And then you have the option of actually selecting a smart radius. Now, if I check the smart radius box, it will automatically adapt the radius to the image edges. So if I click on that, you'll see that it's automatically uh, adjusted the selection. Let me just uncheck that again. Can you see the difference there? That might be a little bit difficult. Uh, what we might do is just quickly enlarge this selection to make it a little bit obvious, a little bit more obvious. So if I just undo that again, so we start with our three, check that, and you'll see there, there's, it's made a couple of slight adjustments to the selection. They're very fine adjustments, so it may not show up <laughs> really obvious in this video, but play around with it in your Photoshop uh, anyway, because it does actually help with the selection. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I actually want to add elements, uh, additional elements to my selection. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly zoom out, and we're going to add in the areas that I've missed in the original selection. So what you can do is you can choose a radius size of your refine edge brush um, and then uh, proceed to actually click over the areas that you want it to actually analyze and affect. So as you can see there, just by dragging the refine edge brush over those areas, it's picked up not only the entire framework of the crane, but it's also um, picked up the sky. So it's extremely uh, amazing what it can actually do with regards to picking up areas of detail. So just by doing that and letting the computer catch up, it's now actually picked up all those different areas for me that um, would have taken me quite some time to actually do myself. So it's going to save you a lot of time to refine your selections using the Refine Edge window. And from here, once you've actually added all those different areas into your, photo, uh, into your selection that you're actually after, you'll notice that you can then refine them even further by using the Adjust Edge section. So now we have a relatively good um, selection here. You can use the Adjust Edge section in this actual window to either smooth out your, um, smooth out your selection, so as I increase those values, you can start to see, I might just zoom in there to make it a little bit easier to view. Oops. There we go. Drag that across. Just waiting for the computer to catch up. Now, so as you can see here, as I've increased the smooth radius, it's smoothed out a series of different edges. Um, that have become really apparent. So leaving it set at zero, you can notice up around here where you've got these wire attachments. If I start to smooth it out and go really extreme, you'll start to see, especially around this area here, that it's really smoothed those areas out and sort of almost feathered them in some respects and I've lost a lot of detail. Um, so in some cases, if you want to smooth out a selection, you can do that, uh, but you've just got to remember that you're going to lose a little bit of detail that you may not necessarily want in your selection if you are uh, wanting a very soft effect. So we'll zero that off. You can also choose to feather uh, and actually give it a certain pixel value. In this case I could feather it two pixels, which is quite, you know, it's actually too much as you can see by the actual outline around the different features of the crane. So we'll undo that. And you can also choose to increase the contrast which I find can be quite useful, um, just adding a little bit of additional contrast just to get, distinguish your original selection. And then you can choose to shift the edge of your selection by a percentage, so in either direction. So if I go further to the left hand side, you notice it's picked up all those wires up here that weren't actually selected before. So if I set it to zero, it's actually missed out those wires, but just by shifting the edge slider to about 45 or so, it's picked up all those additional areas for me, which is fantastic. And if we just drag across here, we've also got some areas of um, 
cabling that's actually been missed. So we could potentially add that in. Well, in this case, we might need to actually play around with that a bit more in order to actually add those couple of cables in. It's picked up the other ones. Maybe we need a slightly extreme um, shift edge setting. See, by setting it to 100 now, it's picked up a bit more of that cabling, but it's missed out a big section in the actual middle, and it started to um, posterize the selection, which is not what I really want. So I'm going to leave that at minus 45, and I might have to add in those cables um, later on by hand or by using another selection tool. Now what we can do once we've actually made a selection is we can choose to actually output that selection. So by going to the selection, uh, going to the output window or output option in the Refine Edge window, what we can do is choose to decam um, decontaminate the colors around those selections. So sometimes you'll notice you get um, color fringing, say especially against blue skies or other colored objects you can start to see that the actual fringing starts to rub off on the outside edges of the selection you're making. So you can actually choose to check this box and it will actually decontaminate the actual color uh, edging. So that is extremely useful and you can also choose the amount at which you decontaminate. So you can put it up to 100% or drop it down accordingly, but around 50% is where it's going to default at and that's probably you know the starting point that you want to use. From here you can choose to output to a new layer with a layer mask or even a just a new layer by itself or a new document or a new document with a new layer. In this case I'm just going to use new layer with new layer with a layer mask. You can then choose also to check whether you'd like refine edge to remember your settings uh, for future selections. In this case I'm just going to leave that unchecked. And from here we can just click OK. And what you'll notice is we now have a new layer and a layer mask um, that has that entire selection that we've been working on. So there you have it, Refine Edge for fine tuning your selections in Photoshop. Make sure you check it out. It's been extremely useful for me in enabling me to quickly create some very detailed selections without a lot of work.